a brighter lamp A light in a meadow It's all in my hand To a future dream But never there Now that the maze has come apart So all the borders around my heart And the cage around my breath I remember being inspired by uh, Every song has its own tale So I don't necessarily have a um, A palette which I draw from to create a song or to it's not just songs as well you know stories or poems now and again but songs predominantly is what I do and write um, so that can be it can be a line from uh, a comedy show it can be something that's made me laugh so I'll then probably write something that's there was um, a song on the last album um, called Continents Shift Faster Than You and uh, that line was from um, Humphrey Littleton from I'm sorry I haven't a clue I think he was talking. I think he was talking about the postal service or something like that. And he said, um, "Continent shift faster than our postman," or something like that. I thought that's a nice line. So, from that, the whole song came out from that just one line. So that was the inspiration for that. Um, and then just general day-to-day -day life. I mean, you'd be amazed how much stuff you can see just wandering around town or um, sitting still. You, know, you can just go and sit in a park or read a book, and something will jump out at you, and you'll just start creating you know and the the mind doesn't stop working constantly you know the cogs are always going around I, I always have notebooks and I always write things down no matter how much I don't use them there's millions of words probably that I've never used uh, lots of half finished songs from um, from half attempted projects I suppose and sometimes they are projects sometimes you really have to try and tease a song out sometimes they come fully formed in your head sometimes I've even dreamt them uh, and occasionally exercises that I, I do if I'm feeling a bit sluggish I'll write a song j just do the I might have a chord structure or something in my head but um, I've done this a few times just write down the um, stream of consciousness right just don't stop the pen from drying up don't stop just keep writing and when you can't write anymore finish and usually you've got a size of A4 or something like that and occasionally I've not changed a word of it and I thought that's perfectly fine you know, other you know critics may say, well, you should probably re rewrite that or rework that, but uh, that sometimes does work in your favour. But so inspiration, it's, it's it could be anything, anyone, anything, uh, in at all. You know, there's no one thing that inspires me. Life itself, with all its peaks and troughs, is uh, the greatest inspiration of all. I think the main difficulties of recording when one is in the studio is trying to get it right as quickly as possible so you don't spend so much money. That's the first thing. If I had lots of money to spend, I would love to spend all of my time in the studios working out parts in the environment because I think it's very conducive for that, for the artistic um, approach. But you've got to come ready with most of the parts already done, I think. Um, so it's not as much fun because um, you've got to try and nail it in a, a time frame. You know, you've got, you haven't got, you can't just go on indefinitely. You've got to try and get there at some point. And things like um, doing solos on guitars and things like that, it's not really my territory playing a lead instrument. But um, So um, maybe you heard that before. I think about 15 takes or something like that. And it's strictly rhythm with a bit of uh, naughtiness thrown in, I guess. But yes, I think that's the main thing. Um, you try not to be conscious of time, um, but you do try. You do relax into it, and as a result, sometimes hours can go past. And um, yeah, good, good, good lord, it's ten o'clock already, and uh, it's night time, and uh, um, so you forget about that. The the, um, the strictures of um, finance, ultimately, but it's always at the back of your head to try and do as best you can in the time you have. And the money you've got to spend in here.
can't say. It's, it's, I mean, folk is, is quite a broad. If you're not going to be bogged down with people wearing Aram and so on and the traditional kind of folk setup, pipe smokers and ale drinkers and all that type of stuff, then I am encompassed in that world. You know, I feel part of that world. You know, people singing about things that mean something dear to them. You know, a lot of my stuff falls into that category, as it wouldn't do if I was a trance music writer or something like that. It wouldn't fit into that. But occasionally that does cross over, doesn't it? <laughs> Weirdly. There's no there's no bookends to music. It's all free and that's how it should be. And you can do what you want, when you want, and for whoever you want. And if you're lucky enough to get picked up by a group of people that then like that and that moves on, then, you know, that's fine. But to court it, to, to write for that end result, fame, popularity, money, isn't the way I go about it. I've never been money orientated, money driven, so that's taken out the equation. So what have you got left? You've got art left after that. And that's what I'm interested in. Regardless if it's any good, high, low art, it's all something that means something to me. And if it doesn't mean anything to me, then no one else is going to find it interesting either. recipient of um, some problems in the old hands and wrists whereby I can't play for very long so um, my live playing has taken a bit of a nosedive of late but I am getting treatment um, not too invasive although I think it's sort of like a mild carpal tunnel thing but um, so my hand um, especially around the bottom of the thumb area is particularly painful after about I can't play for more than like 20 minutes. Occasionally it's better if I, if I have a few drinks beforehand, self-medicating with a few ice-cold beers before. That can sometimes help a little. Um, but um, at the moment it's really quite bad because I used to play a lot. And um, one, of the, you know, one of my main sources of income as well. So um, that's all a bit of a bugger back onto the streets again uh, but I'm going to have some injections soon some um, um, some sort of steroids pumped into the nerve which let me tell you <laughs> isn't pleasant at all it's uh, the, one of the least pleasant things I've had done to me and I've had endoscopies done down the old uh, the old throat before now for another ailment altogether and I'd gladly have a few of those every day of the week and have someone boring holes into my nerves. So I've got another appointment, hopefully fairly soon. So um, maybe come February or March, I might be back on um, back on track again. But at the moment, I want to record as much as possible, just in case. Um, it's I think it's I think you might have said, used the word degenerate, which isn't um, or degenerative, which isn't a particularly wholesome word. But uh, if that is the case, then I'm going to have to record as much as I can and. Um, Get into um, get into painting again, I suppose, or um, join a circus or something like that. But um, I'm not too despondent at the moment, but it is a worry. I would say a worry, but um, I think good and health will prevail. And I mean, you know, I don't know where anyone would be without music, but everyone loves music, surely. And if you're lucky enough to be able to play it as well, then um, I'm not going to say it's going to make you happier, but it'll uh, certainly nourish and fulfil parts of you that I don't think you'd get elsewhere. But you've always got that flip, haven't you? Playing music, you know, there's lots of struggling musicians, lots of very successful ones. There doesn't seem to be much of a grey area. You're either in a virtual state of penury or you're a multimillionaire. But there's lots of jobbing 
musicians as well as actors and people that are in the arts. And, uh, and good luck to them, you know. Um, most people I know aren't in it for the money. It's not a fiscal enterprise. I'd do this if I'm, if someone said, no, you're never going to make money doing this. I'd go, uh, right, thanks for the information, but uh, I'll continue to um, write and record regardless of what uh, the outcome is. Uh, yes, it's, um, that's the most important thing. Whatever that is. A tortoise is slow comparatively. A sloth isn't quick from A to B. But by now they would have made it to town. So come on, darling, and lose the dress and gown. A slug isn't fleet, but it's going somewhere. The same for a snail, but to be fair, he carries his home on his back. But hell, it'd still be far to wick a root powder in a shell. Continents, oh continents, I've seen continents.